What's going on guys? It's Mr. Doggy Cat back here with another High Pixel Skyblock episode. And in today's episode, I am going to be talking about the garden and how I make the majority of my money, which right now I only have 794k because I just bought like a 7 million dollar cookie. I think I got scammed. But before <clears throat> I get into talking about the garden, I just wanted to say this video is going to be coming out on my birthday and so this video will be coming out Monday and Monday afternoon I'm going to be doing a stream. Basically I'm just going to be playing through 1.20 with some friends and yeah we'll just see what happens from there. If you guys like it then I might do more. And if you guys don't like it, then I won't, I guess. So, anyways, enough about that. Let's go to the garden. So basically, recently, like, four months, three or four months ago, they added, high, Skyblock added a garden, which is basically just for all of your crops and stuff. And how you access it is you come talk to Sam, which should be in the same place, and you warp to the garden. So, let me explain a little bit about the garden, and then I'll explain about the crops. So right here is where you're going to find all of the people that you can, like, trade with. So this guy wants four enchanted red mushroom blocks, and you'll get 6,000 farming XP, 15 garden XP, and 14 copper for it. And there's more like that. Blue means that they give you... They're more expensive, but they give you better stuff. Like, this gives you a green bandana, which is, like, the best farming pet item. And then, gold or yellow means that they're legendary, they cost a lot, but they give you a lot of copper. So, like, all the green ones, they're, like, not very cost-efficient if you get a bunch of gold ones, but the gold ones are rarer, so, yeah. And then, in here, we have the desk. Basically what you can do at the desk is you can see your garden level, I'm level 11. You can configure the plots, which basically you buy them with compost, which I'll talk about that in a second. And then you can put like different crops on them. So I have sugarcane, wheat, cocoa beans, potatoes, carrots, melons, pumpkin, and mushroom at the moment. And so yeah. Basically, this is how you just you get those plots to have whatever crop you want. And then here's where you can upgrade the crops to give you five farming fortune. And this costs copper, which you get from doing the trades. And then there's the Sky Mart where you can buy fuel, which I will tell you why you need that in a second. You can buy these cleaning hose which basically what these do are they help you clean up the plots because after you buy a plot you then have to clean it up and how you do that is you basically just take one of the hose and you just you get rid of everything you get rid of trees you get rid of leaves you get rid of these stone things you get rid of all like the grass and stuff and once you get it clean enough it'll tell you in the chat that it's clean and then you can then put a crop on it. So let me get back over here. So that's what those cleaning hose do. And then there's a, this basically just builds. It's cool, yeah. This just gives you farming fortune for axes, because you cannot enchant axes with this enchantment. You can only get it from these books. Hose, you can enchant with harvesting, and that gives you the farming fortune. This just gives you more farming fortune. This cannot be... You, you cannot get this through an enchantment table. This gives you even more farming fortune. You can also not get this through an enchantment table. But this goes on equipment. And so the equipment that you're going to want to get is actually right here. The bracelet, the belt, the necklace, and the cloak. And these basically just give you more farming for fortune per visitors that you've like accepted their deals. And then there's this yellow bandana, which is decent. 
if you're uh, I'm trying to think what the it's decent if your garden level isn't above what is that like eight if your garden level is seven then this yellow bandana is better than the green bandana because this gives 30 and the green will give 28 but the green bandana gives four per garden level so if you have eight level garden level eight or above which is like really easy to get then the green bandana is better i never bought one of these because i never needed it and then there's the this hoe that gives you farming fortune there's this hoe which has replenish on it and replenish basically makes it so that whenever you like break a wheat or a carrot or a potato it'll replant that so you don't have to like go back and replant it manually and then there's also axes for that axes are for like cocoa beans and stuff and then there's this which you put it on the equipment and it gives you extra farming fortune and you also can put this on armor actually wait i don't even know if you put it on equipment no you put blooming on equipment you put the bustling on your armor and it gives you more farming fortune And then you can put this on an axe, and it'll give you more farming fortune. And then the rest of these are all barn skins, which I haven't ever bought a barn skin, so I don't know how it works, but I'm assuming it just changes like what the outside of the barn looks like. So that's pretty cool. So that's the Sky Mart. And then we have Garden Milestones, which are like... The more you harvest of these certain crops, the higher these milestones will get. And then the more you trade with the, like different visitors, the higher those milestones will get. And then of course we have other barn skins here. So I'm just gonna click this and see what it does. It appeared to have done nothing, so that's cool. I don't know if it needs to... Oh, oh, it says it's pasting right now. Oh, there we go. So yeah, basically it just changes the roof, and that, that looks to be about it. So that's cool. Oh, it's also changing the inside to a lighter color. But yeah, that's what the barn skins do. I didn't know that, I'm gonna be honest, because I haven't bought any. You can still trade with these guys, I guess. And any day now, if you'd like to be done, I don't know if it actually, it doesn't change that, it appears. And so yeah, that's, that's barn skins for you. And that's all you can do at the desk. Over here is the composter. Basically what this does is you put crops in it. You need 4,000 organic matter, which crops give you different amounts of organic matter. And then you need 2,000 fuel per 4,000 organic matter. And basically it'll make one compost, and then you use that compost to... You can use it, there's some trades that you can use it in, and then you also use it to buy the plots. So... That's basically what the composter does, and yeah. Also, let me see here. So Jacob, he does farming contests every hour, but if you participate in them, it's every 40 minutes actually, because it's like, it's 40 minutes, and then it's a 20 minute contest. So there is technically an hour break between them, but yeah. Basically that's what he does and you're going to want to participate in these contests as much as possible. But let me tell you the what you need in order to like actually do something in that. So you're going to need at least melon armor if not crappie armor. So technically you don't need crappie armor, but melon armor is just it's slightly worse. It's I mean it's not bad. And then the major thing is you're going to need an elephant pet because this gives me 170, 78 extra farming fortune. So that's like insane. And then I also get 
Uh, I also use the green bandana, so I also get plus 44 farming fortune from that as well. So this is just like insanely useful, helpful pet. And so basically once you have like probably I would say 400 or 500 farming fortune, I would say you can start participating in the events and like actually hope to get prizes. And basically what you need to get prizes is you need to get bronze medal. It'll say on this little sidebar like what place you're in and how close you are to bronze. And then if you have bronze, how close you are to silver. And if you have silver, how close you are to gold. And so basically you need to get at least bronze because what you're wanting to get is at least bronze because once you get eight bronze medals you can change them into gold medals by doing two bronze for one silver and then once you get enough uh, da -da -da -da. once you get enough one gold for four silver and why you want gold medals is because you can buy a bunch of good stuff here so basically this Mathematical hoe blueprint. This can be made into a potato hoe, a carrot hoe, a wheat hoe, and I want to say there's other things. It can be adapted into five. I don't remember what the other two are, but basically, that's really good if you're going for like hot potato books because you make a potato hoe and it works very well. I do have one, I believe. I don't think I pulled it out, but I do have a potato hoe. And then, this is a cocoa chopper. It's good for cocoa beans and cocoa beans only. You're going to want to put replenish on it, which it's really helpful that it's a cocoa bean chopper because you can get the replenish book through the cocoa bean collection. So you just need 16 enchanted cookies and then normal paper to get replenish. And you'll need that. That's just extremely helpful. We have the melon dicer here, the pumpkin dicer, fungi cutter, cactus knife is really helpful if you're going to try to go for cactus because it slices through cactus instantly and it's pretty much impossible to farm cactus otherwise. And so, like, all of these hoes are very helpful for their individual things. These hoes just help you till, which you don't really need to do anymore. And then there's this, which I don't understand what the point of this is. I guess you put it on a cocoa bean axe and it won't break like baby crops. And I, I don't know, I, I don't see how it's super useful. But if you want it, you can get it. I mean, it's only two silver medals, so it's not that expensive. It'll only be four bronze medals. But yeah. And so, I do want to say that potatoes are really good if you're going for like hot potato books. Of course, you're going to need to do wheat, potatoes, and carrots in order to get the crappie armor. And you'll need like, like 80,000 melons or something like that in order to get the melon armor. Or maybe it was 200,000, I don't know. But you'll need a lot of melons in order to get the melon armor, and you'll need a lot of carrots, potatoes, and a ton of wheat in order to get the crappie armor. And then you'll need a ton of pumpkins and melons and cocoa beans in order to get the next armor up. But basically what I do for, for money is I do sugarcane. So I have two sugarcane plots right here next to each other. So I just go all the way down and then come all the way back, go all the way down, come all the way back, all the way over to this corner. And once I'm, once I make it to this corner, like the crops up to like the third or fourth row have already regrown. So I can just keep doing it over and over again. And for each, each time I do these plots, I get about 1200 to 1500 enchanted sugar, which is about, 800,000 coins per time I do this plot and it takes me about 12 minutes to do a plot so that's 800k every 12 minutes which is like 4 million an hour or something like that so I mean it's not like the best you can get better I mean some I've seen some people do it like 8 million an hour I don't know how they get that high but they do it that way and 
so yeah, that's... I think that is all that I wanted to talk about. I did want to say, so this gardening axe is like really helpful because it gives you 72.5 farming fortune because you get a base of 10 and then you get the extra 62.5 from Sunder 5. And it already has replenish on it. So basically I used this gardening axe for like, I think everything. I used it on every single crop except for maybe sugarcane because I went for the sugarcane hoe pretty quickly. But I used it on almost every single crop because it's just, it's perfect. Because it can cut down cocoa beans, it can cut down wheat, potato, it can do everything. It can do, because these need an axe, melon, cocoa bean, and pumpkin need an axe. And the rest can use hoes or axe, axes. So, yeah, this gardening axe is like the best thing to start off with. And then it only takes like 160 copper, I think, to get Sunder 5. Yeah, it only takes 160 copper to get Sunder 5. So, definitely I advise starting with this axe. And then of course, moving to each individual hoe. I have... Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have a potato one, so I have seven. I have seven, like, gold medal hoes in the 110 competitions, 111 competitions I did. So, I mean, technically, I could probably have gotten... I think I also increased my farming level. So I used like eight gold medals, I think, in the 111 competitions. So it's not bad because it's like, I haven't been able to get gold in anything and my farming fortune is like almost 700. So it just, it just depends on if you get in a good, good league or not or group or whatever it's called and also I do want to say you can get books from the contests so like if you get if you place bronze in a potato contest then you'll get a turbo potato one book and basically that just gives you plus five farming fortune when breaking potatoes see so I have a turbo cane five on this, which means I got 16 placements on, and it doesn't matter whether you place bronze, silver, or gold, it's all turbo can one, or turbo whatever one. I think I haven't gotten a gold medal, so I don't know, but I would assume it's the same, because it's the same for bronze and silver. And... Yeah. I will also say the Jacobs tickets do give you some decent amount of money. I think they give you like 5,000 coins per one. And if you place bronze, you get 10. If you place silver, you get 15. I'm assuming if you place gold, you get 20. So it's like, it's pretty nice. But then again, you also need those to buy the different like specialized axes and hose. So I've said so a lot. I'm great at this. I think that's... I think that's everything, but yeah, basically, moral of the story, do sugarcane, you get a lot of money from it, and then of course do potato if you need like hot potato books, and yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed, oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot I was going to say one more thing, okay. One last thing. So on my sugarcane hoe, I have cultivating seven. So basically how you get cultivating is you need a booster cookie or you need to buy bits from the Hypixel store. You need to come over to Elizabeth and then bit shop, stacking enchantments and cultivating is right here. And basically you just mine crops to tear it up. And it's really, it's really good, really helpful. Only 4,000 bits, you can get it on, in one cookie. And you put it on a sugarcane hoe, and it just gives me, it gives me seven extra farming wisdom and farming fortune. Which, I don't know how big of a deal that is, but like, I think it's a pretty helpful. I think it's pretty helpful. So, yeah. Basically, that's just there to just give me more XP and stuff. But other than that, I think that's going to be it for this episode. 
I do hope you guys enjoyed. If I missed something, or if you guys saw something that I didn't talk about and you want to know about it, just say something. I mean, there's always a comment section. I'm not saying that I need comments, but like, I'm trying to help you guys here, so anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!